Come on, come on, you're just in time to witness my first breakdown Cause there's a mile gone for every minute past when I'm stuck in this town Hey guys, welcome to Cloak's Day Off. It is Monday the 8th of April. <clears throat> it is, uh, 8.36 uh, Pacific Standard Time. I always get it messed up. Uh, today's drink of choice is still drinking some of this. So, uh, New Amsterdam vodka. Uh, it's an 80 proof. And as always, my mixer of choice, Dr. Pepper. So, um, still on my first drink. Uh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, first of all, to all of you that have been uh, subscribing to my channels. Uh, it's not that many, but it's enough. Uh, sorry, there's a glare on my uh, glasses, but the only way for me to read is with my glasses, and I've got multiple screens going. So yeah, so forgive the glare, it's gonna happen. Um, so yes. But, um, back to what I was saying, I wanted to thank you all for viewing my videos. Um, my views are going up every day. Uh, let's check over my analytics via YouTube. Um, uh, right now, as of March, April, uh, March 9th to April 7th, I've got 586 views. Uh, an estimated of a, a thousand... 737 minutes watch and I've got six subscribers six thank you for subscribing I hope you're watching this video um, I've got 10 likes six comments and one share I'd like to see that grow <clears throat> but it's not even my first month of being a youtuber so but all that I'd like to thank you all um, most views I've gotten so far on any of my videos is 93 and I guess you like that now um geographically most uh, most views are coming from the states because well I'm an American and most things like this uh. okay sorry most uh, YouTube stuff comes from America but my number two country is Australia, so good day. Uh, Canada. Hi, Canada. Uh, Germany. Yes, Germany. Ich bin ein Berliner. I am a jelly donut. Uh, Turkey. Nice to know. Uh, Romania. Uh, the UK. France. Brazil. Russia. Italy. Spain. The Czech Republic. I've been to the Czech Republic. Repug Repu Republic. Yes. It's starting to kick in. Poland. I've been to Poland. Uh, never. I've been to Sweden. Never been to Mexico, but these are also going with the list, so I'm just continuing. Uh, Hungary. Denmark. Ireland. Hong Kong. Argentina. Portugal. Singapore. Bosnia. Um... I don't, I don't even know how to read the one that Bosnia is connected to, so... Indonesia. Uh, the Philippines. I am surprised. I only have four views from the Philippines when I'm half Filipino. But, um, Greece, Cyprus, Japan, Austria, Croatia. Um, I think the two people from Croatia that has viewed me are the two people that have computers. Forgive me, I'm not trying to be racist. But how often do you get any viewers from Croatia? Uh, Peru, Israel, Malaysia, Venezuela, Switzerland, Finland, Isle of Man. Where the hell is Isle of Man? And I've got one view from South Korea. So those are the 39 countries that have viewed me. Yeah, it's okay. There's that. Now, demographic-wise, I am slightly surprised by my demographics, but thank you anyway. Um, 
seventy percent, seventy nine, uh, seventy point nine percent uh, are males. Eighteen to twenty four is less than twenty. Most of my viewers um, is in my age range is twenty five to thirty four. Uh, I myself am uh, shocking, shockingly enough. I myself, uh, I'm twenty seven. Um, and then I've got 35 to 44 and 45 to 54. Anything higher than that, I would be kind of creeped out. Uh, and my female viewers, hello, 29.1% um, female viewers, all in the 13 to 17 percentile. None of you are legal to be watching me. Um, I'm not going to say this is a mature rated channel, um, but... Um, it is, I, I don't know, but thank you for viewing me anyway, and I appreciate it. Um, okay, so, yeah, I, 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 I really, um, don't know what to say. I, I feel honored because this is, I'm still within my first month of posting everything, and... It, it it gets me right. Um, technically, the heart is here, uh, but people go here because um, the heart is under the rib cage. It's protected by the rib cage. If any, that's why you do CPR right here because the heart's right here. Mm. FYI. So yeah, um, I just got off work as I mentioned. Uh, slow night. So, and as you can tell, I'm still in my like undershirt, and I'm um, wearing a pair of shorts because I'm at home and I could give a flip. So, but that that's um, my analytics. I wanted to give off, and uh, yeah. So, a few things I wanted to kind of share that has been popping up other places. Um, I've just recently been hearing about the Bioshock Infinite. Um, I follow TGS, the gaming station. Anyone interested in the game station? Um, great, great channel. Um, a lot of those people, like the people that I follow, Wow Crindor, Jesse Cox, and uh, uh, Dodger with her channels, they're all related to uh, the game. Uh, oh, well, I don't want to forget Total Biscuit. Uh, uh, hi, Total Biscuit. Uh, or. Wow, my memory is really off right now. But uh, Total Halibut, uh, whatever he wants to call himself, the British guy that lives here in the States that is part of the game station. Forgive me, TB. Um, I'm living up to my my channel and my, my, my tag, Drunk Asian Guy Gamer. Same difference. Ah, uh, hmm gonna have another drink anyway um tangent uh i'm still on spring break i currently attend west uh, los angeles college for my advanced um it or advanced network it uh, i don't even know what it is called right now advanced it network management class um yeah and if you haven't watched any of my videos or heard in any of my commentary, the beeping you hear is my smoke detector slash carbon monoxide detector um, it running low on battery, and I am too lazy to get a 9 volt. Big Lots is like, any of you guys that have never heard of Big Lots, I'm sorry, Big Lots is a great deal saver. Not trying to get an endorsement, but uh, yeah. So, Big Lots is down the street and listen a block, and I could go there, get a 9 volt for like a dollar, but I'm still too lazy to do it. Uh, yes. So, let's do some movie news. Evil Dead. I am so excited to go see Evil Dead. Um, I remember the 1983 rendition, Evil Dead 2, and then Army of Darkness, Bruce Campbell. I'm a big fan of Bruce Campbell. I've, 
I watch Burton Notice. Um, anything Bruce Campbell's in is going to be a good show. Recommend Burn Notice. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the Evil Deads or if Army Darkness, it's a must watch. It's a little campy, but it's a good campy. Um, number two in the box office right now, G.I. Joe Retaliation. Um, currently, I'm using Flickster to tell me all this information. So, yeah, why not? Uh, number two this week, past weekend, is G.I. Joe Retaliation with a 56%. So that's kind of in the positives. Oh, sorry. Evil Dead got a 77% um, of people liking it. Uh, G.I. Joe, I'll see it because I saw the first one. That's the extent of it. Um, Jurassic Park uh, and IMAX 3D experience. I've enjoyed Jurassic Park. Um, I'm really excited for Jurassic Park. Uh, is it 3 or 4? I don't know. But I hear they're making it, supposedly. So I'd go see it, um, just because I'm a Jurassic fan, or Jurassic Park fan. Um, number four this weekend was Olympus Has Fallen with a 79% liked. Uh, with Rotten Tomatoes or Flickster, I don't know. It looks like Flickster, Flickster's rating. I, I would like to see Olympus Has Fallen. Um, me being prior military, I was in the Air Force. Um, I'd like to see it. Anything militaristic-wise, give it a chance. Um, I'm going to jump to number six because number five, Temptation. I have no clue. and It has Kim Kardashian in it? Seriously? In okay. I'm not going to see it. Yeah. Kim Kardashian. Um, yeah. No. Uh, number six, Oz the Great and Powerful. I want to go see it. It's got a 64% like rate. S looks good. Uh, it kind of gives you an, a look before Dorothy gets there. I, supposedly, I heard they're going to be re remaking... Um, they're going to be remaking Wizard of Oz. Don't quote me on that. It's a possibility. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, number seven is The Host. Haven't heard anything about it. The, number eight, The Call, with a 71% like. Um, I know it's got Hall Halle Berry in it. The only good movie I've ever seen Halle Berry in, no offense, Halle Berry, is somehow, some way you find out about my channel. Okay? Please like and comment, maybe subscribe. Uh, mm, okay. Um, yeah, the only movie I liked of Halle Berry's was Swordfish. If any of you have not seen Swordfish, go see it. It's worth a watch. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and number nine is Admission. Um, I think it's that Tina Fey, Paul Rudd movie. Um, Paul Rudd, I've, a lot of you know, he works with... S S uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, I know multiple movies, but let's go. I'm gonna refer to Anchorman. He was the guy with the Jaguar. Yeah. So, but, um, now I'm gonna go to. No, I clicked on the wrong thing. No. Opening. Scary Movie 5. Seriously? After. After the Wayans brothers sold the rights, it's not even worth seeing anymore. The, the new one has Ashley Tisdale, Charlie Sheen, um, Gina Hall, Anthony Anderson, or Anthony Anderson, I say. Um, okay. Sorry. Um, number two is 42. Some movie about baseball with Harrison Ford. That's the extent of it. I live here in Los Angeles, and I see posters and buses postered with it. I'm not a big baseball fan. I understand it's kind of like the new, um, or no. It's kind of like, sorry. It, it, my cognitivity is slowing down as the vodka kick, 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 kick. Today, Junior! 
kicks in. Um, yeah, so it's about racism and like one of the first black players, African American or Negro. Um, I say that. <laughs> I hope I didn't offend anybody. I'm sorry. Not really, because I don't care. Um, what are you gonna do about it? Mm. But uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It my the idea is it's a black player in like I think it's the fifties time frame where racism is still rampant ish, um, or something where a black player is showing American baseball. It's kind of like how black players are in basketball prominently now. Uh, go Thunder! Hmm. Uh, they lost. I heard this weekend they lost tier against the Knicks. Kevin Durant, come on, Westbrook, what's what's going on, guys? Uh, the Knicks, seriously? L uh, L A lost or the Lakers because uh, the Clippers are still involved. Um, haha, you lost. Boo, Lakers. I'm a Thunder fan. I'm from Oklahoma, so it's not only pro team. I've talked about sports before. That's the extent of my knowledge. And I owe somebody $10 because my fantasy league lost. Whatever. Um, I do not see any thing on the top 10 list of openings this weekend other than Scary Movie 5 and 42 worth paying attention to. Um, I want to see the upcoming. Where is movies? Oh, there it is. Upcoming. Got to click on it first, don't I? I'm bad at looking at the camera because I'm the only one here. And talking to a camera feels a little impersonal. I know you're watching, but uh, it happens. Um, Oblivion. I want to see Oblivion. Yeah, I admit I want to see Oblivion. Tom Cruise. Morgan Freeman. Uh, that's this month. No, yeah, April 19th, and then, yeah, those are the only ones I'm looking forward to this month. Next month, May 3rd, Iron Man 3. Mm -hmm. You guys, you Marvel fans, Iron Man 3 is coming out. It looks good. Mandark is involved, and the rings, even though they're not active, he's still wearing them. Don't want to get into the story of that, because it's Disney! Um, a few of you guys... Oh, I'm saddened this is a guy tier situation. Disney decided to shut down Lucas Arts. Kind of pissed about it because I was really, really looking forward toward um, Star Wars 1313. Um, look it up. YouTube the some of the promos on there. I'm really sad about it. Uh, yeah, so don't get me started. I watching uh, the TGS podcast number 51, Angry Joe. Um, yeah, I agree with you, Angry Joe. Um, I have no clue how you would be watching my video. So, But, yes, let's see what else is coming out. Uh, May 10th, The Great Gatsby. Those previews have been out forever. Leo DiCap uh, DiCaprio, forgive me. Toby Maguire. Um, I have no clue who Carrie Mulligan is. Uh, right. May 15th, Star Wars Into Darkness. That kind of cross tangent slash gaming wise, um, this new Star Wars game. I played or played or. No, I didn't play. I watched the demo at E3 last year. E3 2012. Um. The current demo, or not the demo, the gameplay I saw was, it's kind of, um, let's consider, l let's consider, the newest Star Trek we saw was 1. So, the new game that's coming out for cross-platform is 1.5. It's kind of an in-between episode of the current Star, War uh, Star Trek, Ugh, I think I may have, Star Trek, Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek 1, the new game is going to be 1.5. It's a middle episode kind of filler 
the filler information for 2.0, which is the new one coming out on May 15th, Into Darkness. That is what the developers and the programmer, or whoever gave the speech at E3 last year, was telling us. The gameplay for um, for the new Star Wars game, uh, Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek game, um, looks good. It's third person, and it's co-op. Which is cool, so he plays Kirk and Spock. Um, how their friendship is intertwining. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Woo! Wait, wait, wait. There they go. Uh, okay. So how their French and their bond is intertwining. Just like the original Star Trek. So, um, wow, okay. I didn't know this, but now I do. May 24th, The Fast and Furious 6 is coming out. Um, it's not rated yet. Neither is Star Trek. Um, this one's going to have Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, The Rock, Michelle Rodriguez, and Gina Carano. Uh, yeah. So, Hangover Part 3, the end of the trilogy, is coming out also. I've got to watch it. <sighs> I enjoyed the Hangover movies. For you that haven't, and it's getting brighter outside. It's it was raining earlier. Now it's bright. Forgive the the brightness type thing in my glass. The lighting in here is horrible in my apartment. I it's me working graveyard. You can see I have a blanket. It's not very helpful. Um, but yeah, back to the movie kind of information. Um, June seventh. After Earth. I saw the previews for that. It's Will Smith and Jaden Smith. I mean, from what I saw, it looks pretty interesting. Um, yeah. A thousand years after a cataclysmic event for a uh, forced humanity to escape uh, with uh, Cypher critically injured. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, never mind. It just. Yeah. Internship. June seventh with Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. Once again, they're partnering up, um, just like they're partnering up in the uh, Wedding Crashers. So yeah, I'll watch it anyway. This is the end. That one looks interesting. I'm probably gonna watch it because um, kind of like the yeah. These things are all available on Flickster. Previews, trailers. This is YouTube. Search it. Uh, June 14th. Man of Steel. Uh, I'm torn about... I'm still going to see it because I'm a big DC fan. If you can't... T oh, I'm going to move my webcam. And you can see. Uh, messy. I, I don't care. Uh, Green Lantern, yes, big Green Lantern fan. But um, since I'm a DC fan in general, uh, I'm going to go see Man of Steel. So, yeah. And then World War Z with uh, Brad Pitt, I'm going to go see. That's June 21st. Um, these are the ones I want to see. There's more movies coming out, but I'm I don't care. You know, don't hate me for this, but um I have not seen Despicable Despicable Me all the way through, I've seen bits and pieces. But July 3rd Despicable Me 2 comes out and I'll have to watch um the whole movie before I go see this one cuz that's I'm a chronological player slash watcher I have to see the previous before I do anything else to watch the continuation now I didn't know about this but I am very interested in it uh, the Lone Ranger anyone remember the Lone Ranger I mean I'm 27 it wasn't around during my time but I still know the Lone Ranger and this one has um, Johnny Depp in it I, I had no clue but that also July 3rd um, there's going to be a Grown Ups 2 on July 12th. 
Uh, yeah. Mm. Red 2. <laughs> if you, none of you have seen Red, it's a must watch for you action fans. But, um, yeah, Red 2 comes out July 9th. No, I'm sorry, July 19th. Did not know, but, um, uh, very excited. Uh, Catherine Zeta Jones is going to be in this one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, R.I.P.D. Jeff Bridges, Ryan Reynolds, Kevin Bacon, Stephanie Z Okay. That looks... There's no poster to it, so I don't know how much information is about it. July 26th, The Wolverine. I'll watch it. Smurfs 2, July 31st. Didn't even see the first one. 300 Rise of an Empire. Hmm. Didn't know about that one. August 2nd. My understanding is 300 was about Spartans. Rise of an Empire. Okay. Ride. If you don't know your history, then you didn't learn anything in school. Kick-Ass 2, August 16th. Happy about that. I even know they were done with it. Okay. Nicolas Cage is making a cameo? Interesting. And then Clo uh, Chloe, Grace Mor uh, Moretz, um, Suicide, or no, Hit Girl. You know, it's weird to have a, a slight crush on a younger girl. That's creepy, yeah. How about you, 13 to 17-year-old girl? Yeah! No, that's a legal no. That's a legal no. Okay. Uh, two Gun... This is August 16th. So, Two Guns, Mark Wahlberg, Denzel Washington. I saw the previews for that. That looks actually pretty good. I might... I'm probably gonna go see that. In the World's End. Don't know anything about that. That's August 23rd. What? September 6th, Riddick? Is that... What? Ben Diesel's Riddick character gets a new lease on life in this third film from writer-director David Toy. Katie uh, heads up a group of assassins out to kill Riddick, who lures them to a desolate planet when confronted with a hostile alien species. Did you guys know about this? I didn't. So, yeah, okay. That's September 6th. So, September 20th, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones 3D. Not gonna watch it. Insidious Chapter 2. Mm. Wow, they're coming out with two Star Wars movies this year. So that was September 20th, Star Wars Episode 2, 3D. October 4th, Star Wars Episode 3 in 3D. Sin City, A Dame to Kill 4. A Dame to Kill, kill 4. Bleh. Mmm. Vodka. <clears throat> Tangent, once again. If you have an alcohol or beer, I do drink beer, that you recommend and you actually watch my channel, please comment, subscribe, uh, like, dislike, I don't care, but com comment wise, tell me something to try um, that I can pick up at least at a liquor store or somewhere. Uh, I'm a big San Miguel, I'd pick San Miguel over, uh, I'd pick San Miguel over Corona. Um, hopefully my mom doesn't watch this, but if she does, sorry, I, I, I do this when I drink. Mm. Mm. It's <coughs> wow. Don't cough very often. But, uh, yeah, um, habit I picked up, 
and I'm trying to quit and rarely do I continue it only because when I drink it tends to happen a lot um, you haven't seen me do it this is my first time uh, you saw me do it so okay continuing on uh, this is this year wow they're remaking Carrie October 18th uh, Paranormal Activity 5 October 25th seriously you guys are still making movies okay my biggest heart on uh, Ender's Game November 1st if you are have like our book readers and are looking for a, a book and you have not read Ender's Game yet read Ender's Game seriously read Ender's Game there's a whole entire book series to it I mean there's Ender's Shadow, Bean Shadow um, Shadow of the Hedgemon, Xenomorph, and blah 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 uh, but you must read Ender's Game, okay? Read Ender's Game. Read Ender's Game. I'm so, so excited that this has been talked about for years about an Ender's Game uh, movie, and it's finally coming out November 1st. I don't know if they're even done yet, but I am super excited for that. Uh, Thor, Thor 2. Oh, see, I did this, but two is technically this. November 15th, uh, no, November 8th, uh, Thor 2 is coming out. It's not called Thor 2, it's called Thor the, the Dark World. Yeah, so, Hunger Games Catching Fire, November 22nd. Okay, second in the series, the book series. December 13th, The Hobbit, wow, um, I guess, I, I know they normally, when they shoot The Hobbit in the Lord of the Rings series, I'm a big Tolkien fan too, I now, okay, let me re rephrase that, I'm not big, but I enjoy, greatly enjoy the series, uh, I haven't read the books, don't hate me, um, but yeah, um, normally when they do these movies, they shoot the whole entire trilogy at one time. And so I'm kind of happy about The Hobbit coming out December 13th. Um, I saw The Hobbit on my birthday. Uh, my birthday is December 15th. Uh, I'll be 28 this year. Wow. Two more years till I'm 30. Wow. I feel like an old guy. But yeah, um, continuing on. Anchorman 2, December 20th. Super excited, Will Ferrell. Um, Robocop. Uh, I've already broken to 2014, but I, saw, I just scrolled down a little bit. February 7th, 2014, Robocop is coming out. So, and this one's got Samuel L. Jackson. Seriously? Okay. So that's the movies. We are 33 minutes in, and okay. So kind of my IGN news and updates. Xbox 720, current name unknown, but everyone's referring it to 720 because 360 times two is 720. Um, they're saying that they're pro they're possibly releasing in November, and it's going to go for five hundred dollars. If I can get to E three twenty thirteen this year, they'll probably have some info about it. Uh, I talked about Star Trek already. They're going to be doing a Hobbit Lego. Uh, click 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 click. Far Cry three Blood Dragon is uh, that has been announced officially. Avatar 2, I didn't even see that anywhere. Um, Game of Thrones, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Uh, same thing with Doctor Who, big Doctor Who fan. Uh, I'm a Whovian. Uh, but Game of Thrones, I don't have cable, all I have is the internet. So, and it's, it's you've gotta know your channels to, or websites and links and stuff to, without, 
spam or trojans or viruses to get to the right things to watch those so and it's up to peer to peer and torrent and everything for that to be available uh yeah defiance is out i i hear it, the defiance is pretty currently just like the beta just a few updates like i've mentioned before i'm still gonna probably try to watch a show on sci-fi.com um, if you haven't already seen the first 14 minutes of the show, it's available on sci-fi.com, S-Y-F-Y uh, dot com, not S-I-F-I. Uh, but um, that comes out next Monday, the initial. Um, they're talking about Evil Dead. I don't play Terraria. Uh, Um, it talks about Bioshock's ending, how horrible that was. It's not really talking about new games. These are just news. So um, if you haven't noticed, I've been playing Marvel Heroes again. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I was before. I'm The new updates are a little bit more helpful. There's a little bit more uh, tutorials to it, so that's helpful. Um... Currently, there's no additional other betas that have invited me. Um, I'm not really playing anything else. I play LOL, League of Legends. You've seen some of my uploads. I'm still waiting for the Elder Scrolls uh, online beta. Supposedly, there's uh, a projected release date in December. Uh, but yeah. Now, I do have a Star Wars The Old Republic account. Um, the games, I I do have Steam, but let's see here. Uh, oops. I've got Origin. I've got Battlefield 3. I've got Guild Wars 2. I haven't played Guild Wars 2 since I purchased it, and I can't log in right now. Um, sadly, I did purchase and download uh, Aliens uh, Colonial Marines. That was a disappointment. I've also got Black Like Retribution. Um, I've got Hawken. Uh, what else do I have? I've got Star Trek Online, DC Universe Online, Marvel, uh, Counter Strike, uh, the new Counter Strike for Steam. Those are the and Chivalry, uh, Medieval Times, or whatever Combat Warfare. But yeah, those are my current games. Um, Xbox, I haven't played anything. I'm waiting for uh, Ju uh, Injustice. I'm, if there's a midnight release, I'm going to the midnight release because I'm getting the $150 version with the little thing and uh, the arcade joystick. Um, I'm a little bit more area where I live. I live in Van Nuys. And the plant, the GameStop over at the plant... Um, that's my GameStop. So if you watch my channel and you're from California and you want to meet me for some odd reason, I'll be there if there's a midnight release. But yeah, uh, that's another one I'm really, really excited about is Injustice because I'm a DC fan. And I remember playing Mortal Kombat back in the day. Um, I remember when Mortal Kombat was just an arcade game. I played that all the time. I was always Sub-Zero, Scorpion. Um, and now, like with the the newest, uh, the newest Mortal Kombat, I love being Smoke. I like, I liked this newest Marvel. Uh, Marvel. I like this newest Mortal Kombat because it kind of threw you into the story. I'm, I've seen the movies, and supposedly they're supposed to be coming out with a new movie. Um, supposedly. Supposedly. Um, so, we've talked about Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist, Grand Theft Auto V, South Park The Stick of Truth, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Patriots, Injustice Among Us. Looks like there's a new one, Metro Last Night. 
if any of you guys played Metro 20 something something blah 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 Lost Planet 3 Deadpool yes if you've seen my videos Star Trek Prey 2 seriously they're coming out with a Homefront 2 Homefront 1 was a flop it's like Red Dawn if any of you guys seen the original 80's Red Dawn or the current Red Dawn with Thor um, it's pretty much that just in a game I played a little bit of it in Xbox um, uh, XCOM seriously I I guess it's it's a remake cuz uh XCOM well XCOM wasn't for Xbox was it I don't know Remember me Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 Ascend New Gods sounds like just uh, a knockoff of uh, uh God of War uh, Battlefield 4. If you haven't seen the 17-minute preview of Battlefield 4, looks awesome. I've mentioned in my last post or upload about Battlefield 4, I'm going to pick it up. St. Row 4, I didn't play the third one. I've never played any of this. I played Crackdown, Crackdown 2. Nothing like, I mean... Don't hate me for referring Crackdown to Saints Row, but sorry. Uh, Young Justice Legacy. Hmm. Action RPG. Might play that. September 10th, 2013. Yeah, okay. I can see that. Um, let's see what some other... They're coming out with Abe HD. I don't know if that's going to be uh, an arcade game or if it's going to be an actual game. Yeah, it's arcade. It says arcade. Not paying attention. Uh, Destiny, Bungie's new game with connected with Activision. Uh, let's see here. Continuing on. Sorry. The hours of working graveyard is kicking in. Um, Grid 2, May 28th, Dar Dragon Age 3, it's coming out this year, but it's TBA, okay, touche, Bioware, touche, um, let's see here, what else looks interesting that's coming out that I'll play, um, Uh, I'm just scrolling right now. I don't see anything. Sims 3 University. I no. I played Sims. I've played Sim City. I I had Sim City, and then my files got corrupted, and I can't re-download it. And that really pissed me off because I uninstalled it and tried to reinstall it, and it keeps on giving me fracking errors. So, let's continue, I don't know, Dishonored, The Knife of Dunwall, it looks, that's an arcade game? April 16th, comes out this month. A fourth quarter of 2013 is a Sherlock Holmes game, hmm. Resident Evil Revelations, May 21st. Hmm. Once again, I'm just going through these. They're coming out with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Um, it doesn't say if it's arcade or not. It just has that. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Lego, well, make up your frackin' mind. You do DC, Lord of the Rings, and you're just doing everything you can get your hands on. Hmm. I played with Legos as a kid, so no, uh, no comment. Armored Core, Verdict Day, uh, third quarter of 2013. 
Um, I've played Armor Core mostly on PS2. I like that. I liked Armor Core. It was pretty fun. Haven't played anything newer though. Now, that makes me sad. Star Wars First Assault was an arcade game that has been cancelled. Fuck you, Disney. Uh... Hydro Th Thunder played the arcade game. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Okay, you Assassin's Creed fans. I bought Assassin's Creed 3 and couldn't even get past the first part of it. It's just. I, I've played Assassin's Creed 2, Revelations, and Brotherhood. Um. That trilogy went on forever. Uh, my ex-girlfriend has my copy of Assassin's Creed 3. I still need to get that back from her. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a chance. I'll, I'll, I will give it a chance once I get the copy of my game back to play it. But right now, I mean, when I played through it, I mean, when I first played through it, it was to me, it was kind of disappointing. But I'm still gonna give it a chance. Like Marvel, and I tried it again, and it uh, it's working. So I I like it. So and cheers to you, Marvel. Uh, someone on asked me about if I was a founder on Marvel. No, I'm not a founder. Um, I just got accepted to the beta, and I've been playing. And on they keep sending me credits to get heroes. So. What else? Um, Dynasty Warriors 8, July 16th. I've been a big fan of the Dynasty Warriors series. I played that also on PS2 with my, my friends and stuff like that. So, um, it's not like I'm going to play it, but if you're a Dynasty Warriors fan, go ahead. I, I enjoyed playing it, but that's pretty much it for me on that part. I'm not done yet. Excuse me. Um, I'm looking at PC games now. Screw it. More news on me. So, uh... I have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash drunk Asian gamer. But the thing about it is I'm running five gigs of RAM and a quad processor, no three I three or I five or I seven system, and I don't know my video card. I cannot stream at all. I use OBS open broadcasting open broadcasting system because um, I don't want to pay for XSplit, but I would love to broadcast and stream things to you guys if I get people to come watch me or subscribe to me. That's fine. Um, but I currently can't um, stream at a good quality. I can stream, but it's going to be laggy. Um, oh, uh, speaking of laggy, Lagging out. Uh, the channel on YouTube lagging out. Uh, forgive me. Uh, I've been drinking, so my memory is not that good right now. New tab is taking forever. Come on, Chrome. Work. Click, de click, click, kick. I can't remember his name. But let's Facebook. I'm using my personal Facebook. I have not made a like pay or like kind of a user page for my channel yet. But okay, Chieftain, Chieftain Small. He is one of the leading factors of lagging out. Um, thank you for subscribing, Chieftain. Um, if any of you guys would like to check out his channel, it's going to be Chieftain Small. Uh, go check him out. Um, 
thank you for subscribing. I've, as mentioned, I subscribe back to you. Um, and if you do, and we were kind of in the talks of me possible, uh, possibly being involved with their podcast and their 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 live stream. Um, yeah. It'd be awesome to do that. I'd love to get involved in podcasts and anything like that. Anyone watching or anyone that comes upon my my vlog or my channel and, and uh, appreciates or enjoys my charisma, uh, please, yeah, let me know. Send me a message via YouTube, um, any of my videos, or... You can email me, drunkasiangamer at gmail.com. That is my avail I'm, my channel's email. So if you have comments, information, news, and blah, 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 yeah, email me there. You can message me. I don't have a website. Um, I'm very new to this, so I haven't really gotten involved in like expanding my Verizon on uh, my horizon not Verizon that's a cell phone company and distance Hurrah. you know what I'm not gonna get into the definitions of these things I'm just gonna go with it so yeah um somehow some way rooster teeth um views in it, or you fans of rooster teeth red versus blue etc um, con congratulations to your 10 years. I've been a um, subscriber to Red vs. Blue and Rooster Teeth for those 10 years. Um, let's go to the website, rvb.com. Yeah. You know, I've got a 50 megabit sys uh, internet connection and it is really slow right now. That's a load of bollocks. I love using the f British phrases, but yeah. Let's go to stats. Not what I'm looking for. My homepage. I have officially have been part of Rooster Teeth for eight years. I signed up on October 6th, 2004. And it says last signed in one month ago. I I check every day. Uh, if you want to see me on Red vs. Blue or Rooster Teeth, add me. You're welcome to. Uh, my, uh, my username is F3Z Fez with Elite 3. It doesn't say that, but um, back in my web programming and website design days, in school they would call me Fez because I was brown. Never had the accent. Now, um, Fez, if you guys don't know the reference, is from that 70s show. Good show. Series is over. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's the end of that. Um, I'm trying to think of anything I want to add right now, and I've been thinking about this. For the, I might post something tomorrow. It's not going to be as informative as today, because today I went over everything I wanted to. Uh, it's my first day off. It's my Saturday, and thanks to no class today, I can actually sleep in on my first day off. I'm um, probably going to do homework tomorrow. I've got to do a little catching up on that. But, um, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just kind of checking a few things. Oh, um, I'm going to plug Arrow on the CW. If you haven't watched Arrow, this is about Green Arrow. The only reason why I plug it is because I'm a Green Lantern fan. And at some point, Green Arrow and Green Lantern had a co-op comic series and I didn't know much about Green Arrow and I don't know how I, I don't know how to the comics Green Arrow is right now 
but it's a good show. So any of you guys, CW on Wednesdays, watch Arrow. Um, another thing, uh, Supernatural. It took me a while to get into Supernatural. Don't hate me for you Supernatural fans. Um, only because I got into it late. But I'm a big Supernatural fan. Sam and Dean, woo! And Castiel. Castiel has been on and off, but it's kind of cool. I, I like the concept of angels being involved in, I mean, all the current seasons. I think it's season 8 right now. Um, but yeah. Somehow they've kept it going. But... Shows I've been... I talked about... I talked about Game of Thrones, Doctor Who. Um, and then uh, White Collar, Psych. I like I love Psych. Uh, Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. Uh, I'm a, I myself have been a paranormal investigator, also known as Ghost Hunter. Um, but it's I I'm, I'm I'm a fan of that. But uh, yeah. I'm looking at the stack of Dr. Pepper cans I have in front of me because that is 12, 14, uh, 16, 18. I've got 20 cans of Dr. Pepper sitting in front of me right now. Not hoarding, but I'm just too lazy to throw them away after I'm doing whatever I'm doing. I've got an op unopened can of Dr. Pepper, which I'm going to mix for my next one. As you can tell, I've only got so much left. Uh, yeah. So, if the servers for Marvel are going to be open this week... Um, be happy to know I will be playing Marvel and be uploading videos continuously. Since I can't stream anything, as I mentioned before, I don't know I'll be playing anything else. Maybe League of Legends if I get bored. Classes is back up this week because spring break is over for us. So my, my game ability is going to be uh, limited because my schedule. Going to be going to school, going to work, sleeping, eating and repeat um but yeah that is it if you have any questions comments positive or negative um feel free to leave it in the comments below i will reply back to comments i will read all comments emails please like or if you d dislike, go ahead. I don't care. But please like or dislike. Subscribe if you enjoy my charisma. Um, or my channel, my videos. And please, please let me know what you think. Um, my friends have. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Coworkers that I ch entrust. Um, knowing of my channel about thanks for watching uh, yeah all day that's you uh, his last I, I don't want I, well I'm not gonna talk about it because that's personal information but I call him all day because he's ready to go at any time uh, yeah so I think that's it for today I'm um, coming up on an hour on my post. I've noticed with my, I don't want to say mentors because they haven't personally talked to me, uh, but my inspirations, Jesse Cox, uh, Dodger, and Wow, or no, Wow Crendor, uh, that, um, their videos aren't as long as I'm willing to post to, but that's I don't know their reasoning on their videos. Me, I'll post as much as I can, as soon as I can, whenever I can. 
only because I'm not trying. Well, I'm not trying to flood my channel, but at least I'm trying to get some content up. Uh, because once again, I'm new. How am I supposed to know? But uh, yeah, uh, if you you've seen my channel or check out my channel, I've got links to their channels. Dexterity Bonus and Coffee Time are Dodger. Uh, Jesse Cox is uh, OMFG uh, Kata, uh, one moderately funny gamer. It's not oh my fucking god type thing. Forgive me. Mm. And then Wow Crendor is Wow Crendor. But uh, yeah, I mean they're they get paid for being on YouTube. I don't. I actually have to have to go to a job for eight hours from during that time so I, I can't stay at home like they do but yeah um, I appreciate you guys come checking out my my vlog today uh, for cloaks day off and then yeah so that is the extent of what is going on in my life is my day off some news some updates some irrelevant drivel and me being slightly inebriated now because the vodka, um, this one vodka, I normally have about three drinks. Um, only because I feel about this much worth of alcohol. And then the rest is a mixer. So, um, and I'm not trying to get wasted. Um, just a little bit of side information, but yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. So, nothing special. But, as I mentioned, I keep, I, I keep pushing this because, I mean, it's a new channel, and the more you guys like and subscribe to my channel, uh, the more people find out about my channel. And that's what I'm really trying to, I mean, what I'm really wanting to get out there is um, more markability. So, but yeah, uh, thank you for joining me. I am once again Cloak, the Drunk Asian Gamer. And this is Cloak's Day Off. Thank you.